Life, yeah. <laughs> the period within which a plant or animal exists as vibrant, growing, or even subsi subsisting <laughs> organism before it dies. Mm -hmm. A period that mere object objects never have. <laughs> the state of being alive as a human. Mm -hmm. An individual person's existence. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're using up my existence because of your refusal to enforce the law. Yes. You want to meet a motion of court that had uh, had corrupted the judicial process. Mm -hmm. But there's what's known as the key employee life insurance. Yeah. Life insurance taken out by a company on an essential or valuable employee mm -hmm. with the company as the beneficiary. Mm -hmm. Key man insurance, key employee insurance, key executive insurance. Oh, oh. <laughs> key person insurance. When you go through the plan documents of all the law firms, yes, I'd like to know all the key man insurance of every one of those law firms for the last 40 years. <laughs> and then I'd like to know how many of them are still alive. <laughs> because you can assign a different beneficiary. Yes. Now, let's say I sued you. Yes. For knowledge of federal felonies. Yes. I want to know all the key man assurance of all the law firms. Yes. Because the thought was, well, you're so valuable to this firm. Yes. That if you were to die, it would cost X number of millions of dollars to replace you. Yes. Because you derive, you, you, you have so much income in the law firm. <laughs> now, these key employee life insurances. Mm -hmm. I remember when Washington Mutual bought me one of those when, when I was a financial consultant. I didn't actually pay the premiums on it. Yes. From what I know, they're still paying the premiums. And I only have 35% of my life to live. Yes. And then I want to know all the key employee life insurance of every government employee. Yes, that happens to still be alive. Ooch. And then I want to know who's paying your premiums. Boop. And then for all of those sheriffs and police officers that said, oh, we're not a religion. I want to know the key man life insurance of every employee of life and law, law enforcement and who it is that's paying your premiums. Boop. Because if there is any premiums being paid yes, by any taxpayer, mm -hmm. the taxation, yes, I'm going to want ownership of all of it so that if you were to die yes, in the line of service, you'd be so fucking cheap right now. It'd be so cheap to replace you. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this idea of your religion known as law enforcement, yeah, mm -hmm. I really dislike it, Ouch. And this idea that you're all going to celebrate the lives of every person that loses their life in law enforcement? Yeah, I dislike it. Mm. Now, I've said that before. Yes, that you seem to be spending tons of fucking money celebrating each other. But as I see it here in amendment number five, yes, uh, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, which that could be a mental health evaluation considering the incompetence. Yes. I mean, you'd have to have a really, really compelling reason why any person would have to do a 1077. <laughs> the individual would have to be a blithering fucking idiot to not understand how that does. <clears throat> well, there could be a large class action lawsuit, yes, for the utilization of 1077s without any real justification for depriving a person of a speedy trial. <laughs> I think there is. <laughs> and then there's nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. <laughs> now, this due process of law that I've been telling you about, yes, you've been depriving me of life, liberty, and property. <laughs> you deprived me of my son since uh, July 2nd of 2011. Yes. You've been depriving me of the right to speak to Marilyn Van Poyen <laughs> so that I can ask her what kind of life that she wants. Yes. You've been depriving me of the due process of legal representation. Yes. And you're going to spend the next 35% of my life yes, trying to undo your fucking crimes right now. Now, I think there's a huge Fifth Amendment violation right here because of your refusal to enforce misprison of felony. Yes. It happens to be an obstruction of justice. Yes, it does. And for every law firm in this great nation, I got a 